Hello everybody, welcome to uh, New Fauna S gets my Zerg Fauna. Persistronics? Yes, I don't know. But here's a name. Bam! So I'm gonna go with the gateway opening, gateway on nine. Three zealots, then we move out to do as much damage as we can. Kind of helps slowly dictate the pace of the game, and depending on how and what and what you want to do as far as teching goes. So, see that the drone has gone through. You know, it has. So the thing with this is, I don't think he realized I went gateway first. And as you can see, I'm trying to position that so the hole is blocked. So. And then here we go with the zealots. And it's lost there. Getting to cancel that. And he moves the point instead of back on the creep. Moves it off the creep. Which didn't seem right. So the biggest mistake I made is that I didn't get warp gate research at the time of doing this. So I totally forgot. I thought I did, but I was like, oh Warp Gate's ready. So warp gate should be halfway done by now. And now I just started. So at seven minutes in, my warp gate is really late and it's supposed to be done a little bit earlier. Or at least it started earlier than that. As you tell by the timer, it's forty one minute game, so Times two, trying to get the hole. And here we go with round two with four zealots. And then going with an immortal sentry push. So, I keep doing damage. I'm also doing it mining. Good transfuse. Uh, bad kiting. <laughs> so we're gonna try to get all the probes in the gas as fast as we can. Got an observer to tell me what to look for. I'm thinking, okay, he's got layer. Oh, festers. And the reason I'm casting this is because my opponent does something that's quite unique and that I haven't seen any other Zerg player uh, do. And I'll be about midway to about the end of the game, so not that uh So I realize that I do cast a lot of PVZs. And that's because the majority of the time I'm playing a lot of uh Protoss or a lot of Zergs. And then the Protoss matches I'm kinda ending either early. Um I'll probably cast one later, which was one that was pretty good. It was Again, my concept of always keeping pressure on my opponent is always, um, it's always good while macroing a little bit behind it, keeping the money low, so on and so forth. So I was searching through, I was like, oh, okay, here's a couple of good games. And here we go. And I was wondering why my sentries did not come with my army, and I was like, oh. So Zerg is at 58, and I'm at 36 for... And he should be on three bases, which he is. And this, so I'm force building him right there. And another good force fields. And I'm realizing there's creep coming from the bottom, and I'm like, oh, okay, he has a third base that I'm not aware of. So I'm thinking, oh, I need to pick up my sentries. Well, I have a sentry in here. So I'm like, okay, well, just keep on the pressure. Keep on the pressure. Look at the end. Come in his favor, but the unit's losses are in mine. And no, thought he had enough. He does have enough energy for a force, which I didn't use. So, pretty much, this is 
And I'm like, okay, he doesn't have any upgrades. As you tell. I'm 1-1, one, one, he's only got Zergling speed, so APM. But <laughs> 203 is his average. So playing server pass, we can go to his cam and go. Oh no, his APN dropped a lot, so I was like, oh. Well. There we go. So I'm trying to bring Zealots to the third to do. Um, on a lot of these engagements I'm doing after this is called our mini engagements, where I try to do enough damage to snipe bases and then walk away. With some of them, I overcommitted quite substantially. Making sure my mic is on. It is. So. Close field. His unit's in. One immortal's not firing. Oh, that immortal should be fired. But again, I'm not taking any losses, and I'm not losing too much on anything else. I mean, he's already... F he's lost 20 more to my non-zero amount of kills on it, to his non-zero on workers, so... So I'm... So I'm thinking, okay, I've got... I'm seeing mutas, and I'm seeing... So I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna just go Archons. At least that way I can. So let me just have something, so. Sorry about that, I, I heard a noise. So I'm going down to do some harassment with the Warp Prism. And I'm sticking with basically Robo and Gateway Tech. Get some Zealots in there. Lose some Zealots in there. And the reason I'm moving out is because I see his army move towards that way. Which, you know, I only have three Zealots. But if you look at the upgrades, I'm 2 1, he's 1 1. I've just now finished charge, so that's another reason to move out. So, he's at 82 workers, so his army supply should be. So, at the time of this attack, as we see, I've got 7,400, about 78, and he's only got. Um, 53 and he's maxed so that's a lot of supply that is not uh, heavy duty units so trying to take out this base to figure out I have enough army to deal with this guardian shield force fields Still cutting out the reinforcements. Trying not to make sure the Archons don't go over the force fields. Because that would be a bad idea. And a couple more force fields. Now I'm going to swing those zealots up to the top half of the map. So basically just mini. So for everything I'm doing, I'm always making sure that I'm going to have another attack path going somewhere else. There's the close the fungals, guardian shields, he's got the infested turns, so pause over here, taking out this base here, I took out this base here. This is not gonna go down. It's wasting money on corruptors because I don't have anything I don't have any air besides that warp prison. And then I got this over here. So, still losses are in my favor. He, wow, way, up, way up on the loss. Enemy 
and then that's gonna go down. I'm trying to take my base. Which didn't which was like, okay, I've been taking out his base one by one and he's put has to put money back into his bases, back into drones. So I'm like, okay, well as long as I can keep his money low and his larva injects pretty low or substantial. He's only got three queens and two hatcheries. As you can tell by the minimap, it shows looks like it's three hatcheries, but that one's being rebuilt. And then my units get stuck in that, so I'm like, okay, I'll just try to get back away and try to get the infestation pit. I see ultralisks. Like, oh boy. And then I'm losing probes. Losing three pups. Corruptor, no. It's all right. Need a couple more archons. Doing my best to do any real damage at all. Taking my four zealots. Now we're gonna pause it here and we're gonna slow down. So basically what he did, he decided to neuro parasite my archons and my units. I've never so far with me playing this, I've never seen this happen. So now I'm kinda stuck trying to get to these guys before my archon kills my own archons. So that was a really smart move on his part, because then I had to focus fire down them. But the only bad thing is that he's lacking in the upgrade. So and then watch this run, and here we go. Bound. So I was gonna say this overload has been here the entire game. Give me a vision of said gateway. So here he comes with the snow and the small engagement. I'm like, okay. Time to start making some stalkers. <laughs> so pretty much as of now, we should both be kinda broke. He's now rebuilding this base. His income is higher than mine, but his harvester count's really low. Considering that I've killed 75, so he's had to remake almost a good chunk of those. So, as you see, he's got his units down here. I'm going to protect this base because this is a good mining base for him. And I've been working on my immortals count because I, you know, I've seen, oh wow. So, seeing ultra so I'm like okay well I need to make sure I can get my gas saturation is bad and then I'm gonna have to take this base here so we'll fast forward just a little bit faster times four kind of watch so he's gonna make another move wait no I don't think he made another movement yet it's pretty bad that he's only has okay so he's making this move is he or is he waiting for units? So he's gonna attack with this. I'm getting the Nero parasites to go down, but the roaches that were supposed to cover his um, infestors weren't there, along with the zerglings that should have been there. So he just lost a good chunk of units there. And this investor will not live to see another day. And this guy just casually just walks and dies. So now they're chasing my observer, <laughs> which I thought was really funny. Like, Are you gonna chase my observer? So he's got this giant army, and he's trying to. F oh, I wonder why he skipped on this attack path. Oh, because of this. I have zealots over here. 
Doing a whole mess of damage over there. Okay, well, there goes all his units. All his Zerglings. So, and then I got DTs attacking over here, so I did get a DT shrine. Uh, I figured if I'm going to do these mini multi sh um, hit squads, better throw some DTs in there because they're going to help me out just a lot more than same with the Zealot Force that I've got. And I'm like, okay, I'll take an extension. Nope, I can't take an extension there. There's a, there's that there. And I got this da battle down here. More neural parasites going down, and the ultra that's in the back. And this is my cue to push. And half my army is not attacking. And then I got this base taken out. This base will go down again. And I didn't realize until now that I broke the Zerg <laughs> with five harvesters left. He's literally broke because he's been having to rebuild base after base. <laughs> yeah, except these two bases. But the ones that count are the ones that have the drones. A hundred and forty-two drones he has lost. That's a lot of drones he's had to build. So he's built 147, and he and he's had to keep rebuilding all those drones. So so pretty much this is one of those games that's like, oh well. That's why he left. I was like, oh, I figured he was leaving for something else. Like I beat his army. I actually made him broke, so because he's not mining off of anything. Once this base is, once this base dies, he can only have one. I think he only has. Where is five drones? <laughs> so basically, he'll be long distance mining. And the big thing about his composition is that he had no upgrades. He was going. He had some melee units, but no melee upgrades. Marks of plus one. And I'm already 3-3-2. Three, three, I've got Stargate just cause, just in case I need to tech the Stargate. So, pretty much, when you attack on uh, your pylon, gateway, attack with three Zealots. Um, control the Zealots as best you can. And then that should help you dictate some of the pace of the game. Because that's going to... And then if you do another onslaught, like th another attack like that, it's going to throw them off again. Because... They're always expecting a time between um, about 11 minutes in that there's going to be an attack. If you can hit it before then, and then you can hit it slightly after that, all power to you. So, um, it's not. I didn't really have a build order specified for this match, so I can't really tell you exactly what like what you really need to do. I just tacked the way I thought I. I, you know, you, you have instincts on time. Well, so I was like, okay, well, I did see layer, so I better get. Um, and I had high gas and low minerals, so I'm like, okay, well, I should get a Templar Archives, and that way at least I'll still have something against the Mutas, which he barely built any Mutas, and then if they did, they got killed. So, and the Nexus has five kills, Ken has two kills. Money mortal down there, so 12, 17, 14, 20, 12. So, I uh, hope you all enjoy it and have a good day.